you. Uh, it's my great honor to be here uh, to give the report. My name is Bu Xu. I'm from uh, Northeastern University in Xi'an. And uh, the title of my, my report is the estimation of coronary artery movement using a non-rigid registration with global and local structural preservation. And as we all know that in our human bodies, there are many uh, vessels and the coronary artery uh, attached to our heart surface. Its function is to provide nutrition and oxygen for our heart and they move with our heart. And many studies have shown that there may, re resist, there may resist a high a correlation with the movement pattern of coronary arteries and uh, the coronary artery disease. So uh, my research is to study the movement of the coronary arteries uh, to further analysis the relationships between the movement pattern and the coronary artery disease. And the, uh, my research steps is as follows. Uh, firstly, uh, I uh, extracted and reconstructed uh, the 3D coronary arteries from uh, based on the uh, CTA image. And then I used the coronary center line to represent the coronary arteries at the different times uh, in the cardiac, uh, in our cardiac circle. And uh, then I used the point site of uh, the on the coronary arteries to represent this coronary artery. And um, just as shown in finger one, uh, finger one is the point site of the coronary center line at the different phases. And you can understand it as uh, the, at the different uh, times in our cardiac cycle. And um, uh, if I want to study the movement of the coronary uh, arteries, I need to register uh, the point site of the coronary center line between two different uh, uh, phases. And the registration method that I used is based on a probability model. And this model uh, says if you want to register it on the two uh, point sites, uh, just as you want to um, register it, uh, the red point site to the blue uh, point site. Uh, and uh, this model consider that, that uh, uh, this uh, moving point sites as the centroids of Gaussian mixture model and the blue points, uh, the blue point sites as the data points. And uh, in this model, uh, actually, there are two uh, unknown parameters. The first one is the correct uh, corresponding relationships between these two models. And uh, the second is the uh, correct uh, centroid positions. And um, uh, yeah, this is a, a parameter unknown problem. And uh, we can you we also use the, the expectation uh, maximum method to solve it. And based on this model, uh, I add some uh, constraints. The first one is a global constraint. It's the motion consist motion consistency. And you can imagine uh, uh, if there uh, is an object. This is a uh, yeah. This is an object. And uh, this uh, red point uh, is the some is the sampling point uh, on this object, and uh, this object move from here to here, and uh, uh, the po this point will move together, and uh, their trajectory will lag this way. Uh, it's natural. Uh, will not lag this way. Uh, it's not natural, and uh, this is the first country constraint. And the second constraint is a local constraint. It's the local embedding, uh, a local linear embedding uh, theory. Uh, this theory comes from the uh, data dimensional uh, reduction pr problem. And uh, this theory says uh, in a high dimensional space, the data uh, just uh, like uh, X1 uh, can be uh, represented by its neighbors uh, as a uh, uh, linear combination, just uh, as just uh, like the uh, first line in this formula, and um, uh, when the data uh, data finished the, the dimensional reduction process, and uh, these uh, relationships will be uh, remained. Uh, I mean, uh, the x one will also be represented. Uh, uh, by its neighbors, and uh, this uh, uh, weight coefficient uh, value should keep the same uh, to 
uh, preserve the local structure of this data. And I use uh, this uh, constraints of, uh, in the registration problem uh, to uh, preserve the uh, local structure of the moving points. And I do some simulation uh, experiment and uh, the uh, cr criteria is the registration error. And from this two finger, uh, we can, uh, the green one is the, our proposed method. And uh, from this finger, we can see that uh, our method can get a smaller uh, registration error than the other method. And uh, this finger shows uh, the perfor performance of our method. And uh, the first line uh, is the uh, coronary arteries uh, before the registration. And the second, uh, and the second line shows uh, the, the coronary arteries uh, after the registration. We can see that on the blue uh, point side, uh, the blue point side and the red point side coincide uh, uh, very well. And we also do some uh, experiments on the real data. We calculate on the moving trajectory of the real data uh, between the adjacent uh, faces and the, and the black line represent the uh, moving trajectory. And according to the coronary segment principles, the coronary arteries are divided into uh, several, several segments and we calculated the displacement degree for this segment. And we can see uh, here and here, uh, this displacement degree is small, um, is, uh, uh, is, uh, is consistent with our uh, physiological uh, knowledge because uh, at this time and this time uh, is always the end of systolic and uh, diastolic uh, uh, time uh, in our cardiac uh, cycle. And uh, that's all the contents that I want to introduce. And thank you for listening.